See the lads been training the team, running, running, yeah. The weekday dragons, the fees been slapping, the packs stay stacking, the cats keep cutting. Late night grind, get the money or steal. I need that. Yeah. Young Wolf in the building, Young Sasuke in the building I'm professional car, I got my phone out in the building What's going on? Welcome back to the Man City career mode man Once again, as per usual, thank you for all the support on the series so far A lot of you have been DMing me, messaging me, replying to tweets, replying to comments Even in the comment section just telling me like the, the content has been great So I'ma keep producing, you know what I'm saying And as long as you lot keep liking, like just hit like right now as I just said it Just hit that like button, that, that's all you got like, You don't even have to watch the whole thing just gone missing go about your day you know everyone's there missing casper the friendly ghost but thank you so much for the support man and we're going to continue on in this series now a lot of people are demanding like literally the man is an icon in this team by the way the demands have been have been increasing a lot of people are asking me to play raheem sterling once again the rules are the rules so we have to have three academy players in the starting 11 therefore meaning one of these donnies have to take a back seat however there is something we can do in my personal opinion jack Grealish would suit in my personal opinion if you look at his long passing his short passing his attacking positioning um his long shots vision if you look at all of those, the balance, the agility, composure, ball control, everything that you need in a central midfield, Jack Grealish has. I think we do this. I think we change Jack Grills to a CM. We just leave, we let him train. We let him become a CM. That's that's what we're going to do. We're just going to let him become a CM. What's the 271 weeks flipping out? Once he becomes a CM, what we will then do is slot him next to Kevin De Bruyne because Kevin De Bruyne could potentially leave in January I have to put up the three highest rated players whoever gets an offer first is leaving that's just that's just the way it is you know the ones that that's just the way it is you never know he could be the Kevin De Bruyne replacement if Kevin De Bruyne gets the first off. We don't know yet, but that's what I think I'm gonna do, and I think that's the realistic option. Even if Kev even if well, it says 270 weeks, 71 weeks. So even if Kevin De Bruyne stays, we can play him next to Kevin De Bruyne. We do lose that defensive ability taking out Rodri, um, but at the same time, I feel like this is the only way to actually slot Raheem Sterling into the first team by playing Jack Grealish in midfield. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's kick off the episode. Introducing your player of the month. Yeah, Mr. Gabriel Jesus. Man cut loose. Can't lose five goals in ten games in all competitions. Man has cut loose. Well deserved. I'm not surprised he won the vote. If you didn't vote, again, make sure you do it for this month um, in the straw poll down below. We will be doing another player of the month, and you guys will leave your votes and, and things like that there. But get Abigail Jesus, first player of the month of this series. And man, he is shaping up to be one of the meta players in FIFA 22. We are up against Burley in the first game of the Premier League, which I'm going to simulate because I feel like we are well equipped to beat this team. If we lose, I will actually flip tables. I'll actually 3-1 right. That's tough! Oh my God. Five months! Five months! The whole season gone. The whole season. Is that what you're doing to me, EA? Talk about some bad news, I'm afraid. I know it's bad news. You ain't got to tell me it's bad news like Wayne Barrett. Spliff. Spliff. Use McAfee. Maybe that's what we do. And and roll like this. Maybe that's what we do and just roll like this. I, I think that's what it's Raheem Sterling finally makes his way into the first team from unfortunate events. That's tough. A man got put into a whole spliff. Wow. Wow. A whole... Man, like, man's just done out here. Like, 2 0 win. Zinchenko win. I said, I said Zinchenko win. Zinchenko just, I can't even say his name. Flipping out. The whole thing has rattled me. Nah, but imagine the whole thing has rattled me. Wow, 4 1 win over Brighton. These are the games that I did say I would be simulating because they're just not worth playing. EFL Cup settings. We're at home against Crew Alexander. Uh, at, 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 
don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Another game. I just don't give a heck. It's been an easy month. I don't give a heck. 4-1 second team. Raheem Sterling on the score sheet. Mara is on the score sheet as well. Uh, if we go down, we have Ferran Torres on the score sheet. And Mara's with a hat-trick. A lot of hat-tricks in this episode. I'm just getting through some of these games because, you know, I just want to progress in the career mode. Of course, we can't sign any players for a while. So, uh, the sooner we get to the end of the season, the better for us, I guess. All right, we've got a bit of a challenge here. Uh, we're up against Crystal Palace. This one I will be playing. Uh, they go with Ezzy up top. Edward, they, oh, that, that glitch has kicked in where the teams are just not supposed to be playing where they're meant to be playing. Why is Edward... In central midfield, why is a left back slash left mid playing left with Ah, oh, I'm finished. Finished. Ah? Ah? Man stood still. Man stood still. Give me the ball, man. Man stood. Get out of here, man. Razzy! How did the keeper save that? Are you mad? Hello? 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 Raz! Are you serious? Are you serious? Is this, is, this what they, is this what we're doing today? Raz? Oh, that pass was too heavy. That pass was way too heavy from the lap. Oh, that's a ball to... Uh, again, another hefty pass from Delia of the lap. Sterling's gone. Sterling's got... Re referee blood! Are you mad? Are you not? Sterling, get up, get up, get up, get up. Sterling, get up. Sterling, get up. Sterling, get up. Blood! Is this what we're doing? Is this, is this what we're doing? Is this what we're doing? Photo, 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 how the keeper save it! This game has been dead food. Foden still got the ball. Foden still got the ball. Oh, what a run from Foden. Foden still got the ball. No one's closing man down. But this keeper is David D and Gaya in between the sticks. Man's all three of them. Hello? Oh my god, Liam Delap is just destroying everything. Everything we can and can't do is because of Liam Delap. The man is just a, 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 he's just a, he's just a, he's just a block. He's just a, you smashed that. <sighs> Liam the la oh my god, you're so bad. Hold on, hold on. I see if Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus, and every single time, every single, call him, sir. Every single time this man comes on the field. There's a goal. It's so unfortunate that we cannot start. Look, the man even fell down. Got back up again. You know the ones there? And still made the end. Oh, over the top. Look, I didn't see. Man, why is he No way. No way. He's running to the manager in it. Oh, my God. It's not that flipping deep. It's not. A draw with Crystal Palace because of some stupid bicycle kick. I don't even know what happened. Ah, oh, man. Liam Delap, honestly, is dragging this first team down. Um, Cole Palmer, but Cole Palmer's not really involved. Liam Delap is involved. So, the fact that man is involved and he can't do nothing makes it even worse. Ah, it's, it's tough. And I feel like he's just not growing. I feel like he's not progressing enough. You know, um, it's frustrating. 1-1 one, one draw, Crystal Palace, not good enough. Oh my god. Two injuries equivalent to a year. Man said Raheem Sterling just got into the first team and got put in a spliff. Are you... A 1-0 result over uh, Young Boys. Morris with the only goal of this game. We had less percent. We got bodied, but we still won. I'm not mad at it, though. Huge game against Manchester United, the Manchester Derby. We are away from home as well, so that doesn't make things any better. Let's switch to the first team there. Ronaldo up top. Bruno Fernandes in Cam Sancho on the left. Rashford on the right. Funnily enough, someone did recommend that I sign Jadon Sancho. It would be unrealistic, but they did mention that he is somewhat of an academy player, which is true because he came up in the academy after he transferred from Watford. Uh, Van der Beek and Pogba in midfield, which they should be doing in real life. Mr. PE teacher on vibes. Ole, let me not start. Shaw, Maguire, Varane, Wambasaka, De Gea in goal. And you already know the lineup for us. Stress upon stress with Delap and Palmer. But overall, let's see what we can do. This game about to be tough. You know the words there. Uh, skipped. Oh, I glitched. I glitched. I just glitched. I just glitched. Uh, 
Oh, this is football. This is football. This grills. Get this whippage in. Oh, that's a whippage. That's a whippage. Gand, a gand, good gun, gun. They're playing some football here. They play. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, he's got. He's he he, he he did spin me. He did spin me. A man got back up and still made the shot. He did spin me. And she should not stop ruthless. Yeah, you know I mean that you could have caught that, bro. Oh, oh, the lap. You ain't got the footwork. They're spinning me. They're sp give me yeah. that, man. This is the Manchester Derby. You know the ones there. I will clamp if I have to clamp. Grills, grills. Oh, grills, Jack. Grills. Hey, man, like Starboy Grills, you know. I'm getting spun. Gee, wow. It's Christian. It's Panandes. Why did he slow down? Why did he? Oh, that's why he slowed. Oh, Rashford. Oh, you're off. You're off the field. Oh, this is football. This is football. Foden. Oh, what a block from Maguire's. Look at the football. Look at the football. Oh my god. Liam Delac, do you want to play football? Like, do you want to play football? Like, do you actually want to be on the field? Like, because at this moment in time, you're really just irritating my soul. Like, you're really just not doing it for me, you know? Like, it's actually irritating me. Look, he just got the touch is heavy, the pass is heavy, everything just heavy. Friggin. This is where the goal comes. No, I didn't pass it there. I didn't pass it there. You're trying to make them score. You're trying to make them score. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. Because look at the passing. Look, look, look. Every man's falling over. Long shots being taken. Ball not going to who I'm passing it to. I can feel it. What did I say? I can tell with this game. What did I say? You lot were seeing me call everything that was happening. You can tell with this game. Everyone that talks about some, there's no match fixing. There's no... Co there is. There is. There's no way. Because this happens all the time. 80th minute onwards, from like FIFA 12, this has been a thing. You cannot get the ball and they just do a madness. Why has this one long shot at the end of the game gone in top left bins? Why? And that's the game done. That is the game done. 1-1 one, one is the final score. Another draw. At least we didn't lose. Again, if this was a team that we lost to, we'd have to sell one of our players. Thankfully, we don't yet. We've still got the home fixture, but... Boy, not good enough. That's going to be it for me from this episode, man. Um, a lot of simulating games, but again, they were games that we just didn't need to play and we would win. Um, and I said I was going to do that anyway. Liverpool top of the table, 28 points. Eight points clear of us. We are in fifth with 20 points. Aston Villa in second. Can you imagine? Uh, Chelsea are in eighth with Manchester United. We just lost to are in 14th place i don't i'm not speaking in it i'm just gonna scan the situation in it oh, it's not making sense and keep it pushing in the relegation zone we have got newly promoted brentford norwich and southampton who a lot thought we we're going to get relegated in real life but have seemingly put a very strong display up against some uh, sides recently and, and proven that they're not pushovers you know that they're, they're defensively set up correctly not in this career mode, but just in real life. Anyway, I'm out here. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, before I go, let me just quickly check the Champions League. Uh, we are top of our group with 12 points. We've qualified for the next round. There is no doubt about that. We've only got one game left, and that is against... Oh, we've got two games left. No, two, yeah, no, two games left, yeah. Barcelona and uh, Milan. And then in the Carabao Cup... We are up against Brighton at home in the quarter finals. Uh, Liverpool up against QPR, Spurs against Burnley, and Aston Villa against West Ham. I'm out here. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Peace. I hit my lip. Wow. Ow.